got the Godric Gryffindor sword, which I currently own, and I have to tell you, it's amazing. Do you want to see anything up close, sir? I can bring it up board. Oh, okay. Let me know if you want to see anything up close. No worries. And then you got uh, some uh, Death Eater mask here. Let's see. Bellatrix. I think uh, I want to say that is Lucius. Oh, these are different, actually, than what I've seen. You got the right there. Tom Will's uh, diary. And if you see that snake cane right there, that's uh, Lucius's uh, cane. I, I recently just picked that up not too long ago. It's pretty sick. And uh, let's see what else. There's another heart, Pokrox. I do have that. And I got this uh, time uh, dial here, which is pretty sick. I picked that up a couple months back. Absolutely amazing. Let's go take a look at uh, some of the stuff that's not behind the counter. Some charms. That's the quality's kind of dark in here. They kind of made filters and thorium a little dark. So there's stuff that uh, you might not see very clearly. If you do see some that you want to kind of know about, let me know. When I come back tomorrow, I'll try to uh, answer your questions for you. Because I know, uh, like I said, it's pretty dark in here. So there are some stuff that I'm going to pass by that you might not see too clearly, so let me know. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hawk's head glass. Man, man, it's glass. Let's take a look at the uh, set. How much is this bad boy? Okay, 17 bucks. And uh, ju just, uh, just an FYI. Um, all the merch that is out here and not behind the counter, uh, you can use your Universal Pass if you got one. Oh, here's Dobby up close. Oh, that's even better. Kind of see him on the sock there. Kind of glad that he's free. We got the Basilisk here. Pretty ferocious. Like I was saying though, you, all this merch that is not behind the counter, you can use a uh, um, discount if you are an annual pass holder. Um, as you've seen from other videos, or you will see from other videos while I'm here on the opening weekend of uh, Super Nintendo World, a lot of their merch, um, if not all their merch, um, basically you cannot use a discount on it just yet. I've talked with a Universal cast member and they have told me that in the next couple months they will start allowing discounts on Super Nintendo World merch. So hopefully sooner than later, but who knows? Because quite frankly, quite frankly, it's super expensive. And the fact that Super Nintendo World is having a lot of demand even for the first day, which is totally understandable. Um, basically, from what I can see from the AP previews, tech rehearsals, and now today, the official grand opening of Super Nintendo World. Like I said in one of my shorts earlier today, I am almost 80% sure that you are going to have to make a reservation on the Universal Studios Hollywood uh, website or the app if you have the app and if you have an account, you will have to make a, uh, uh, a, re 
reservation to get into the land and that is probably going to last at least six months to a year um, until the hype goes down but with Super Nintendo World also being built in Orlando I can tell you the hype is not going to go away anytime soon and we're hoping at some point that Universal Studios Hollywood creative team the executives will go on Twitter, social media, YouTube, and publicly announce that they will be bringing the Donkey Kong expansion to Universal Studios Hollywood, which I personally think would be the smartest idea possible. So hopefully, if uh, a Universal Studios Hollywood exec is watching this video. Hopefully uh, you guys can bring it here because it's just going to add that much more hype to the park. And a lot of people would be so happy to see that come here. Right now we're currently standing in front of all vanders. Um, the show is not going on at the moment, but you walk in this door right here and it's like a little uh, uh, magic a uh, show where one person in the audience gets chosen to uh, hold a wand that Ollivander himself chooses from the shop. Just like in the very first movie when Harry Potter gets chosen his wand. That's going to be it for today of uh, Hogsmeade. Stay tuned, more videos, more clips are coming. Also, I do want to remind everybody, I posted a statement on my YouTube channel. Uh, basically, I was going to go live streaming tonight at 7 p.m., but unfortunately, since I am a new YouTuber, um, I do have to wait 24 hours, so I'm kind of hoping if by tomorrow night I can live stream, I will be doing that. Um, tonight I am going to do an hour long uh, Q&A, which it's kind of going to be a little weird because there will be a lot of things I'm going to bring up. And I'm kind of hoping whoever watches uh, the video I post tonight, um, at, uh, right in the comment section, ask me anything. I, I, I would love, love to answer anyone's questions at all. And um, I will be posting another video either tonight or sometime tomorrow early. Uh, I will be um, doing a review of Tusum Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen at, at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood City Walk tonight at 9 o'clock. So stay tuned for that. Talk to you later, guys. Day one has been an absolute thrill and I cannot wait until tomorrow.